So right now we're looking at this one. Um, I think this one will be very easy. Once you, I mean, since we already did this, and I was already explaining to just eliminate the variable you solve for t, or sorry, eliminate the parameter you solve for t, and then plug it into the other one, and then there you got no more t. All right, so no more t time. I suppose I'll do this because I said I would, um, but I'm just going to use x and I'll solve for t because normally we have y in terms of x. That's that's normally how we see functions, so, and this was a line I remember so. Uh, I'll add 5 over plus 5. Oh, that's pretty good. So I get x plus 5 over there. And I get the 2t over there. And I divide it by the 2. Uh, and then I get a t. It, uh, 2t is equal to that's x plus 5. All of that is divided by the t, 2. And then I'm going to plug it into this. So instead of I write uh, y, I do it in green though. y equals. 4 times t, which is this, amazing, over 2, over 2, minus 7. Alright, so then I can cross cancel, this becomes 2, so uh, y equals 2 times x plus 5 minus 7. Well, distribute y equals 2x plus 10 minus 7, y equals 2x plus Three. This makes sense because it has a positive slope and it crossed at 3. Oh, that was a pretty cool, almost accurate sketch. I mean, it looks like it could be accurate. Uh, so how much of the graph was graphed by this? If you remember, or you just look, it said all t values, so it was just all of the graph because that allows for all x values if you have all t values. All right, that's it. Goodbye. I can go to bed now.